Hello and welcome back to No Bullshit. Today we return to talking about one of our least favorite pro-social justice warrior hosts on the internet, Francesca Ramsey. Franny was once one of our greatest adversaries here on YouTube, not only hosting one of the biggest liberal propaganda shows out there, MTV's Decoded, but also Ramsey has been propped up, promoted, and trotted out as some kind of left-wing superhero on the internet for years. But in recent times, her platforms and focus have changed drastically. In fact, Francesca hardly even posts on on her own personal channel here anymore at all, except the occasional liberal celebrity cameo, like when she did a couple videos with Michelle Obama about six months ago. Take a look at this clip. Hey friends, it's Francesca, and today I am meeting the one and only Michelle Obama. We're gonna breathe the same air, and it's gonna be amazing. I might not breathe ever again. It's Francesca Ramsey, and I'm just casually here with Michelle Obama. <laughs> well, that was getting extremely uncomfortable already. Looks like Franny's wannabe funny hosting style hasn't really changed much over the years, but the amount of attention and content types she makes certainly has. For example, this video with the former first lady Michelle O, well, it barely reached 8,000 views. In addition, as you can see by this picture, Francesco is also hiding her ratings here, which is never a good sign. And despite the fact that Michelle Obama's only claim to fame is marrying a man who became president, and even though we all know she has no major accomplishments for herself, but regardless of that, Michelle is certainly a sort of celebrity for left-wing people, and she should be drawing in more views. Michelle always gets loads of attention and praise, but despite all that, Francesca's video on her own channel is doing horribly, and that makes it a very good representation of what she's become recently. Franny could always get the guests and the support, and she's always been propped up by major left-leaning corporations like MTV Comedy Central and YouTube, but recently, the amount of actual interest and views for her content have dropped dramatically. At one point, during the heyday of MTV Decoded, Franny used to get genuine interest and a significant amount of organic views with that too. But that kind of support faded quickly. But that didn't mean interest in Francesca and her views dropped off right away, like how bad they are today. No, for years, many began to watch Ramsey and her show ironically, or out of anger like most of us. We basically hate-watched Franny's channel and MTV Decoded because she was making so many bad, biased, pro-minority and anti-white arguments that were so bad it really made her head spin. That's why she was covered and replied to with so many videos and by so many channels like myself in years like 2016 and 2017 and even some in 2018. But this year, 2019, current year, and things have shifted dramatically. While Francesca did make a few Decoded videos about nine months ago that were still packed with her signature terrible SJW politics and awful humor, well, people just stopped caring as much about her on both sides. I still covered a few of her videos here and there, and we still had a few laughs too, but things were clearly getting stale, and since Franny's arguments and her anti-American perspectives had hardly changed in years, there wasn't really much new to say that hadn't already been explained and responded to time and time again. In addition, even her hosting channel MTV decided to dump Franny off their main MTV and MTV news channels on YouTube, only to relegate her to coded show to its own much smaller YouTube page. But have no fear, as the title of this video suggests, Franny has not been totally forgotten, and she's certainly not left the media landscape either. She's not waiting tables yet or something, which is probably what she should be doing after having so many failed shows and channels and ideas time and time again. But no, Francesca is a pro-SJW minority with lots of ins with big media, so she will continue to be propped up despite being unpopular and extremely disliked by many. Recently, it's been Comedy Central who's brought Francesca back into the spotlight, giving her a new so-called comedy series for their YouTube channel. Now, if that sounds strange, it's because it kind of is. Not only is Comedy Central a TV station who's not typically known for making web shows, but also, Franny has additionally tried and failed with their channel in two big ways in recent history, but despite that, Comedy Central is still bringing Fran back anyway for what we can only assume are politically motivated and SJW-related reasons. The two Comedy Central projects that Francesca Ramsey had a hand in before include first the nightly show with Larry Whitmore and as you can see by this picture that show was so pro social justice warrior the host even tried to blame their cancellation on racism and not the actual issues like the show's low ratings and people being turned off by the cast's overt and obnoxious liberal politics in addition Francesca was a writer and frequent guest on that show too two roles that certainly brought it even more negative attention not to mention Franny's terrible comedy and ideas 
were infused into it as well. This nightly show went down and got canceled back in 2016 too, but shortly after its failure, Comedy Central decided to give Franny another shot anyway, this time giving her her own pilot for a potential new show, which she would be the lead in. This pilot was teased and talked about throughout 2017 too, but as we can all see now, two years later, that show never saw the light of day, at least not on television. And we can all guess why too. It probably had to do with Franny being strikingly unfunny and very unlikable too. But again, back to the present and Comedy Central, they didn't know when to quit with her either. And the way I see it, this new comedy series on their YouTube channel that's come out this year, well, that's a bit of a pity project they're giving Franny because they feel sorry for her. Comedy Central pities Franny who keeps failing them constantly, but rather than cutting their losses and moving on, like how they would do with literally anyone else, they're still going to give Franny a show in some way. And as you might guess, it's going to be just as terrible as all her other content. This article from Paste has more details. It's called Comedy Central's new comedic social commentary series, Francesca and Show Has Arrived. Sounds awful already, but let's go ahead and check it out anyway and see what they have to say. Francesca Ramsey has no idea what a coat check is, or at least that's what she wants you to think in the premiere episode of her new Comedy Central digital series, Francesca and Show, where her solution to nightclub storage is to throw all of your belongings in the middle of the dance floor and sing about it in a bona fide club hit. The latest project from the nightly show with Larry Wilmore comedian and YouTube personality Francesca and Show finds Ramsey putting a unique spin on issues no one else is addressing. The aforementioned nightclub scene, the nuances of woke porn, and what it means when someone has a black woman trapped inside of them in the form of sharp sketch comedy. The series, which also features Joel Kim Booster, Jabuki, Young White, and other comedians alongside Ramsey, debuts three times a week on Comedy Central's YouTube channel. And then this article goes on to explain what I suspected earlier. Franny was given this web series as a consolation prize because her pilot and original show never got picked up for television, despite it being promoted as the first black female pilot for Comedy Central or some shit. So basically, this channel realized Franny was a bad idea, so they were smart enough to not waste a whole show and put her on television. But Comedy Central also had to give her a web series anyway, because otherwise the woke crowd would turn on them and start calling them racist or some shit. Sucks to be put in that position, but to be fair, Comedy Central made this politically correct social justice warrior led bed, and now they have to lie in it too. It's their own fault. And now us in the rest of the world, we have to endure another cringy and probably racist so-called comedy show from Francesca Ramsey. Now, with all that said, let's finally get into some of the new show, shall we? Right now, Franny has four different comedy shorts released on the Comedy Central Originals YouTube page. And that's not much considering it started coming out two months ago. And this article said they were going to have a bunch of videos each week. And in addition, for reference, an actual comedy TV show would likely need to produce 22 minutes of content per week. But Franny's web series has made just over 10 minutes in two months. Combine that with the fact that her series called Francesca and Show, it doesn't even have a featured playlist on this Comedy Central Originals channel, which is also hiding its subscriber count now too, by the way. But I think I remember seeing they only had a couple hundred thousand not too long ago before they started to hide it. Now, all this put together is not a good look, certainly. And when we start to get into each sketch specifically, you will quickly see why it's not taking off and why this show never made it to television. The first one's called the Ultimate Club Anthem One Big Pile, and this is the premiere video for the series that was referenced in that article. And although it passed 100,000 views, the video only has about 200 likes, which really begs a question here. Who the hell is viewing this thing, and how did this even happen? Whenever I or regular YouTube channels get 100,000 views, we usually need to get many thousands of likes to get us there. I would say at least four or 5,000 likes, but usually it's much more. But despite that, somehow, Comedy Central gamed the system with this one, and they got more more views, but clearly all those people watching didn't enjoy it enough to bother giving a click to the like button. And if you watch the sketch yourself, it's easy to see why. It's cringy, unfunny comedy with Franny trying to dress sexy, but looking very awkward while talking about a subject that no one cares about and many might not even be privy to. At least with Decoded, she was trying to address current events and social issues, albeit she did it very badly and in a biased way. But with this new video, it's just about a coat check at a nightclub. Talk about first world problems. Most people probably don't even even know what a coat check is or how a nightclub in New York City operates. And this just goes to show how out of touch Francesca Ramsey has truly become. The next video is the one about woke prawn that was already mentioned earlier too. And here again, we see a couple of themes repeat themselves. First, Francesca is taking this opportunity to dress as sexy as she possibly can, which isn't much, but she certainly is trying. Next, the video has just over a thousand views, but much less than a thousand likes, looking like this is again being promoted and bumped up in stats artificially. And finally, I will give credit where credit's due here. This premise isn't nearly as bad 
that is the first one. And at the very least, she is making jokes about the current state of SJWs and their woke culture. Not much to say about the politics specifically here since they are, of course, making fun of the woke stuff themselves. And that's all fine and dandy to me. But I do think it's still being done as a way to support woke culture, even though they try and goof on themselves and look self-deprecating. But since it's still not funny at the end of the day, for the most part, well, this one's mostly a wash too. Next comes a video called Trapped a Real Life Nightmare. And here's where things go downhill real fast. Not only is the views on this video nosediving, barely getting 14,000 here, but also the comedy is getting way worse too, if that's even possible. And in addition, Franny is once again showing how egotistical, narcissistic, and self-centered she really is. First, we had two different videos, the first two in this new series, and they're all about having Franny dress up in overly sexualized ways while doing erotic dances and talking about sexual positions too. And now the premise of this video is woke millennials who keep trying to talk and act like black women, even saying they have a black woman trapped inside of them, which ends up being portrayed by Franny herself. So basically, Franny thinks everyone is copying her speech, and it's all about her once again. The only part I genuinely find funny here is the whole liberals eating themselves alive part, since Franny is essentially calling out other left-wingers who are really the only ones who try and speak and act like this anyway. Finally, Franny's most recent video at the time of this writing is some joke about a puppet teaching sex ed or some shit. This sort of Sesame Street parody is not getting much love from the viewers either, since they can't even get 7,000 people to watch this trash video. That's probably because, aside from it being mildly funny to hear a puppet talk about these kinds of issues, which include different terminology about gay people and stuff like that, well, aside from that somewhat charming premise, there's not really many jokes or laughs to be had here. This video is just sort of a pro-gay, anti-hetero rant, masquerading as a comedy skit, which I think is just Franny playing out her fantasy of wanting to be on the real, actual Sesame Street show one day. Wouldn't be surprised if that happened too, since, as we've seen today and over the years, Franny gets propped up by everyone in the media constantly, despite her being heavily disliked and, in general, not even very popular with her own woke pro-SJW crowd. With that said, in the end, I predict this whole Francesca and show series will eventually meet the same fates that the nightly show did and her pilot, and Franny will once again be cancelled soon, and have to move on to yet another major studio-backed, undeserved project. What do you guys think? Will the Franny meme and her shows ever die off? And why do companies continue to prop her up despite so many failures and not having a good audience? And despite her not being very funny at all? Comment your thoughts on everything below, and thanks for watching No Bullshit. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you all next time.